Hey, welcome back to the shop. This is the fence uh, that leads to my backyard. There is a uh, concrete driveway that leads up to it. It's about nine foot wide. Uh, the door opening is about 40 inches or so, so not really big enough to get a, anything useful back. And it has seen better days. Uh, this was here when I bought the property five years ago, and I've kind of just been ignoring it and using the gate on the other side. Uh, but it's held in place by two 4x4 four four posts sunk into the ground, um, and then uh, attached to the wall and attached to the fence. And by the wall, I mean the, the wall of the house. So we're going to use our scanner, uh, come up with a plan. I'm going to put make two posts uh, and anchor them with uh, four and a half inch long, half inch diameter wedge anchors. Um, and they'll go into the side of the concrete and the top of the concrete, and we'll hinge off of that, and that'll be our plan. Uh, I'm going to use all recycled materials, so this this whole thing cost me about 15 bucks to make. So hope you enjoy, uh, and cue the montage. I don't have video showing it, but I did install two horizontal anchors. Uh, you can see the hole in the bottom of the screen and on the opposite side. Uh, that's to keep it from tilting and give it a little more support. And also make sure that this uh, vertical anchor I'm drilling now, make sure that that's far enough away from the edge that you don't fracture the concrete uh, when it, if it gets pulled, pushed over. All right, back to the silly music and the montage.
for painting and maintenance and if I need to get the maximum width into the backyard. Oh. Alright, let's do the next one. I uh, just wanted to quick point out what I'm doing here. Um, I got a piece of shim stock to take up the difference, a uh, piece of rod long enough to go the full length, and then that fits in nice and snugly into there. And that way I can ensure that these are both perfectly, uh, the, the central axis of this uh, is perfectly in line uh, w relative to each other. Um, so when I go to tack weld it in place, I know that these will spin quite freely. Uh, and it keeps me from accidentally torquing one of these over left or right uh, and screwing everything up. So that's the point of this.
Well, there you go. Uh, we'll probably need to put another coat's worth of paint on it. Uh, but we have a very simple latch. Okay, so there you have it. Simple, easy DIY, easy DIY gate uh, made out of spare bedroom uh, frames. Pup's not sure if he should be in or out. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the gate works really well. It opens up wide enough to get the trailer in and out. So I can now get uh, a full vehicle into the backyard, which is nice. And uh, I can hide this from prying eyes. Um, I think next project, is, provided I can convince the wife, is to put down a um, gravel, dig out some of this dirt and put a compacted little gravel, uh, not driveway, but little pad uh, here in the backyard. I think that would be ideal. Might even be able to put the motorcycle right here, I'm thinking. Anyway, thanks for watching.